Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another awesome uh, video I have to share with you today. Now, I picked up, I went to uh, see someone for fishing lures, so that's what this video is based upon. Vintage fishing lures. I was only supposed to spend $40, and I ended up jumping out the window. I bought a lot of lures. I've already researched some of these from like the 30s, um, the 60s. I already validated on eBay, you know, $5, $10. And so for vintage lures, handmade, um, a lot of them are wood, some are metal, some are plastic. Uh, but you're going to see, if if you're into fishing lures and vintage, uh, you know, anything related to vintage fishing, um, collectibles and whatnot and what have you, uh, this is the video for you. So I spent $210, so I wanted to make that clear now. And right now this video is uh, is to, uh, to make up to make up some make up for that with you um, as I go through the bag. I haven't gone through the bag since I was there all nervous making the purchase with the gentleman. I was only spent almost spent forty dollars on a box full of vintage spinners, which I used the sets or uh, the some of the brands, Meps, Panther Martins, whatnot. So I was only supposed to buy that for forty bucks. And I thought that was a good deal, but then I ended up seeing a lot of good things in here. So let's get right to it. Come on, we got a lot. Um, I already looked these up. I got these vintage um, Bagley's. I believe these are from the 80s. And Jim Bagley Bait Company, uh, P.O. Box, Winter Haven, Florida. Uh, that's 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 pretty cool because it's in the package. So tuning crankbaits. So I think I have three of these, different colors, so I like that. They're kind of see-through when you can uh, get close on them. I don't really have good lighting down here in the basement, but... That's one. There's my dog. He has to know what's going on. So this is a pretty cool color. Um, crankbait. There's another one in there. And I have these in the box. These vintage um, paws, pose uh, handcrafted cedar wood. Um, these are pretty cool lures. Probably divers. And I'm going to keep them in the package until... I don't know. I'm not sure what to do with them. But I, this is the best fishing collection I've ever had in my entire life. Uh, thanks to this gentleman that I found on Let Go, and it was his collection, personal collection from the 70s and 80s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. He he fished his whole life, and he says he's getting rid of all his stuff. So I'm glad to be the uh, fortunate recipient over here. Um, I did, um, I did come a little late because there was someone before me that bought a lot of his like. He had things in like these wooden cases. A lot of these he said he hung up in his man cave. So these were all part of his. Uh... So I spent 210 bucks and you didn't even see the good stuff yet. So I have that. So I have to compensate for that. But look at these awesome, awesome, awesome divers. Now they're in the package just like they were. What year? Does it have a year on it? 1987, caught right on the bottom. Uh, oh wow, so these are all the series. That's how they did These are shad, fast shad. You have the super cedar, uh, six to ten feet deep runners. So these might be the deep runners right here. And you know which one you have. I don't know, I have to look into them a little deeper, but if you know, then you've already seen it. Uh, this one's cool. This is the only one that's out of the, uh, it's supposed to, it didn't really fit in there. I gotta go through that with you. Look at this. I love the metal fin in the back. Look how cool that is. If you're into uh, antique fishing, that's it right there. Let's try to get a brand off of this, can we? I don't know, but this is all made out of wood. This was painted. Someone carefully painted everything. Um, and, uh, you know what? If I ever get into it, I can probably um, fix that up. Who knows if this thing still works underwater? I don't know if that's like a... It's big. It's, a, it's, it's salt water. I don't know. Maybe even a big freshwater lure. I'm not sure. I think a bass would hit that. Look at that. I wonder how, if those still spin underwater. But that's really cool. I'm just going to put the things that I've gone through over here. I don't want to damage it. It's literally dinged up. That's probably the worst condition one, but everything else is in pretty good condition for, for its age. Oh, I think he just threw this in there for free. So this is a good saltwater deal here. I don't know if that's a floater or not, but uh, you got the uh, worm on the bottom. Yeah, it's like salt water. He just, I think at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the uh, arrangement, he just threw that in there. So he hooked it up. Wait till you see this. Boom! Look at this cool thing. Uh, tiny trap. Cool. It's called the Rat L Trap. The Rat L Trap. One eighth ounce. One eighth ounce lure. Let's try to get a description over there. 
for best results varying your retrieve. So it's kind of giving you some directions there in the original case. So that's cool. Never used. As you can see, the travel hooks are pretty new. So some of these are brand, uh, new and some of them are used. Oh, wait till we get into the... Uh, I didn't even get into the good stuff yet. Oh, I got this. This was pretty cool. I just purchased this from Dick's Sporting Goods. Um, the newer sets. This is a vintage Trouter, Meps Trouter set. Um, cool spinners. I mean, for 10 bucks, um, that was a pretty good deal. I think, so just deduct, I spent 210. This is, t this automatically, I know it's worth, um, it's worth the entire, uh, $10. I would put a $20 bill on this. So bring me down, right here brought me down to 190 So $5 for each, so far, $5 for each. So 190 minus, 210 minus, just call it 10 210 minus... 10 is 200 make it 190 five bucks a piece 190 make those five bucks a piece 180 five bucks a piece 170 so right now I'm, I'm in the hole 170 for you know what I paid we're gonna make that up real quick oh yeah oh baby let's save the good stuff for last make you wait this stuff is just as good though that's 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 the funny part Look at this cool, uh, Johnny O'Neill, 1968. I looked it up on eBay. That's this metal uh, frog. It looks like a little mouse, actually, like a frog mouse presentation. Um, and look at that hook, though. And it has a weedless uh, um, metal post there. So that's awesome. So when the bass bite it, they don't come off. I love it. It's not even rusted. It's in very good condition for a 1968 Lure. This is it, John. You'll see the writing out there. Johnny O'Neill, size two, weed wing, made in USA. I looked it up on eBay. This is one of the ones I looked up. This was uh, in 1968, so that is vintage as heck. I'm gonna put that on the rug so it doesn't get scratched up on this concrete floor. I asked him for this uh, musky bait right here because I think I can catch a musky with it or bass. But uh, look at that. Look at this. I didn't even look at this yet. This is the first time I'm looking at it. I was all in a hurry and like all nervous in the store. Um, it's head and oh yeah, it's a head on t uh, tiger lure. So that's really nice. That's a diver. Look at the condition on it. All right. I can't get it off this other lure because I'm recording with the phone. You guys are probably screaming at me like, don't get that up. Black magic marker in my hand. Come on, you bastard. Being a pain in the ass. Wow, it's see-through also, look. Come on, man. Fuck. I am gonna put it on the concrete. Fuck, it's stuck to the rug over here. Just the metal one. All right, I don't want to scratch these. I'm trying to do the video. The video's more important, fuck it. Okay, move, focus, out. My dog's being annoying. Wow, look at this vintage. So it's brand new. Look at that. It's got the sleeves on the hooks. Must have rust out. This is probably from the 30s. Who's the brand? I don't see the company. This might be a... Wow, look at that. Imagine throwing that in the water, in the swamp. Boom. Yeah, very well made, handcrafted. A lot of love and care, and you know, we're put into these lures back in the day. I wish I had a piece of cardboard. Actually, I'm gonna get one. I'm just gonna grab this paper right here. Flip it upside down. Hockeys, move out of the way, thanks. So this is, I wanted to show you the uh, see-through back. No, some of them are see-through which I like, so they blend in their water. But that's the tiger, um, head-on tiger, and I'm sure there's a catalog for that. That's pretty cool. These all have individual prices on them. So I think I made my money right there, just in that alone. This is pretty cool. It's another head-on, head in uh, supersonic. Wow, the head in supersonic, brand new. Treble hooks, cool, beautiful, nice wood. Handcrafted. The video is everything. Because I'm going to rewatch this video to see what I have. Wow, 
this had a $12 price tag on it. It's a, wow, Sputter Buzz, cool. Wow, look at that tail, wow, so that's the, uh, I see, so this thing's, I don't know if that comes off the tail, but I know these uh, guards come off the treble hook. Or are they seedless? They might be seedless. No, those are just the guards. Wow. Sputter buzz. Wow, so cool. Imagine throwing this. I wonder how this works. I never... This thing's flying when it's hitting the water. Frick. I don't see anything other than the sputter buzz on it. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, moving on. Let's see what else we have. Let's grab this guy over here. Another head on a head in. Yep. And it's a, another Sonic, but a different color. Cool. I never uh, use these. What is this? Thing? Whew, the Black Eel. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna call it the Black. Wow! Look at that thing. I think Catfish would hit this. How does it work? I don't know. It's probably a, a diver. You know, probably a sinker. Like it's, uh, you know, the bottom of the bed. Ugh, catfish all day on that. Wow. Anything would hit this. I can definitely catch. So it's a Finland. Um, reminds me of those like Rapalas, but it's lightweight. It feels really lightweight. Uh, nice size hooks. Now this, this thing's nice. I'm not sure if it's a floater. It feels like it's a floater. So it's top water, maybe. Like, one of like Rapala. So Finland, I don't know how old they are. See, I'm still learning too as I go. I may have something vintage. This is cool. This is all made out of wood. This definitely looks like a cool bug. I don't know, but I, I, I love this thing. I don't want to get the paint damaged. Yeah, I think I lucked out over here. Keep that there. What's this now? Oh, it's a jitterbug. I see it. All right, let's get... This is from 1939. The red one that you see, it's Paw Paw Fishing Lure. So he, he had a $15 price tag on it, which is rather cheap. Uh, I'm going to just not... I'm gonna, I'll untake all that later, but this, is, this has an $8 um, jitterbug black. So there you have it. Nice wood... Uh, it's a popper, so they pop on the water. I bought these for $8 a piece at the uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, the newer models. Uh, this is from 1939. I've seen this listed on eBay. One sold for, I think, $20 or $30. So this brings me right down to an easy $150, this alone. So $150 plus $8 plus that. I'm looking at about a hundred. I'm down to like a hundred now that I have to compensate for, and I have all of this. That's another uh, jitterbug, and I actually have this one in my tackle, but the newer, the newer version. Some people swear by these, and I've seen this, this lure, catch a smallmouth bass in person. So this lure right here, um, I've I've seen it work and it's used so you can see here in an old trainer but it's in good condition you have both hooks on usually one hook breaks and i like the metal on here because they, they didn't make them like this you don't make them like this anymore i have it in my tackle but let me stick to this video this is fred arbogast akron ohio nice very nice bug very very privileged to have that that's an that's a ten dollar bill Look at the size of this jitterbug compared to the other one. Cool. This one's nice. This is a head on head in. Another supersonic black. I think it's glow in the dark, he said. That one might be glow in the dark. I have to test it under a light to activate the UV. Wow. So these are also another two. Different color head and um, let's see if we can get any other description. One says Sonic and the other, they're all Sonics, just different colors. Very pretty. So I have a nice little Sonic collection. Let's get into here. What is this now? Head and Sonic. Okay, a 
that's the sister. Oh, cool, free spoon. That's also, wow, it's, who's the brand? Daredevil, wow. And midget, it's a daredevil midget, that's so cool. Hope he's not now. Wow, so I wonder what kind of fish I can catch with this. Definitely sunnies. I really think I can get some big um, sunfish. And wow, this one's very nice. I love this one. It had a price tag on it. Wow, look at the fins. Wow, they even have, uh, oh, it's heading. What is it called? Heading on both sides. Tiny. Torpedo, whoa, look at the glitter on it. This thing is nice. I love this lure so much. This is a, ten, that's a $30 bill all day. What is this now? Wow, I love it. Look at the bass color. It's like a bass and a pickerel it, and, and a perch. Oh my God, look at this, that's food in the water. Finland, the Finland brand. I'm gonna look that up right when I get off this video. Wow, it's lightweight too, super lightweight. Wow, that's an awesome lure, awesome lure. Lo I think I may try some of these. Oh, this is cool. I remember looking this up. Actually, no, I made the video before I looked it up. This is the Red Eye Wiggler. Um, Rochester, New York. Is this the one? Yeah, from Rochester, New York. So, the Hoff's, uh, ah, I can't pronounce that word. Let me see the name of the Hoff Schneider. Yeah, the Hoff Schneider Corporation, Rochester, New York. The Red Eye Wiggler. I don't even know where to tie the hook on. This is definitely that New York trout. Look at that double treble hook from, from the front. So, that's leaning. This thing's probably doing a lot of crazy. This is actually for the salmon run, I would imagine. Nice, nice spoon. Oh, he told me this is George. He remembered buying this back in the 80s. And he actually remembered the name of the company. And I looked them up and they're legit before my time. They were George. Uh, hey, 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 hope you don't lick the lures, please. Thank you. My dog always trying to cause trouble. Right. Come on. Look at that see-through um, lure there. I got this vintage lure here. Wow. Wow. The Mustang. Mustang or Mustang? It's Mustang. Wow. I can't read the lettering, but I'm going to have to try to read that. I'm just gonna make this here, this video. I mean, you know, these three lures, I can't undo them. How much was he asking for this? Imagine it was a $50 one. Six, 600 or six bucks. Wow, look at this see-through with the fins too. This is a head-on clear, head and clear, and tiny torpedo. Yeah, I'm gonna undo that on my time. This would be the last in this container. Beautiful wooden uh, diver here. Oh, it's Paul Paws. So this is another $5 run, but this looks like it predates the plastic ones that I have in the packages there. All right, time for the good stuff. So just bring me down to 100 bucks. I'll make it back. Was this another tiny trap? So that's cool, original case. I love it. A little beat up, but uh, it comes with the age. Pretty nice. All right, here it is. Boom, the moment of truth. Wow, in the original box, these are about 30 bucks a piece, I would claim. James Hedden, Sons, Dow, Dow Asiac, Michigan. Dow Asiac. Nice, there it is. Wow, that's it. It's so cool. So you have the crazy crawler. This is a genuine crazy crawler. Wow. That's so cool, dude. Wow. Go out. Yeah. So this is one of the good lures. He wanted $25 just for this lure alone. It's heading. Yep. That's good enough for me. Wow. Look at the fins. I needed this. Uh, this. I ordered actually displays on eBay. 
Look at this thing. Wow, it's so cool. It's going right back in. That is collectible. Very nice. There's probably a tag on there from the old days. There's an item number. Made in USA. Awesome. All right, moving on. My spinners are on the bottom. Let's open this up. Yeah, so there is something in here. Just the boxes alone are selling for like 21 bucks, and I saw that some of them have names on them. Uh, this one doesn't. One sold for 300 I think the original Shakespeare. Wow. Yeah, I fell in love with this one. This is a head and midget digit. Oh, that's freaking awesome, dude. Wow. Look at this lure. Oh, man. This is valuable, man. How's the hooks? A little rusty. Wow. The midget digit. This will definitely catch anything in the lake. Wow. Oh, my gosh. That's the baddest lure in the lake. I don't even know what to price it. I'll do that after. I'm shaking right now. Let's get this one because it's clear. How did I get everything for $210? I don't know. I guess because it's not fishing season. I don't know. I don't know. It's early in the season. Trial season uh, opening day is this Saturday, April 6th, I believe. Today's the first. Wow, today's April Fool's Day. Wow, look at this. Wow, same type of bait. And it's a sinker. Wow. So this son of a gun is all the way on the bottom. Wow. It's hefty, too. You, you know, you keep... I don't know how to uh, retrieve this. But if I finesse this thing, wow. Nothing's going to come off of this hook. Ooh, very nice. Very nice lure. I am so privileged to have this. That's those. Moving on. Oh, what is this? I, I forgot all about this. This is the river run. Head and spook. Oh, shit. This is it. Damn! It's nice! Sorry! That was Christmas right there. Oh man, look at this. Beautifully painted. It's another sinker, huh? Yeah, it's a head and river runt spook sinker. Oh my god, that 11 pound bass. New Jersey State is 11.15 for the largemouth bass. This is the lure. Throw this right in the right in the side of the river, right where it drops off like 20 feet. Right on that bed. It's that big mother bass sitting there waiting for me. My million dollar hook right here. Wow. Ooh, that is nice, dude. Dude, it's the spooks that belongs to the box. Oh, man. I'm not even gonna try to close that right now. Instructions on bottom. How to operate river runs. Wow. Here it is. Six models. One piece. So there's six models. You have the sinking. Oh, the midget. Also, oh, midgets do something different. The go deeper, the floating, the sinking, the jointed, and the one piece. Th those are the directions down there. You know what? Since you're watching, I'm going to let you pause that. I'm not going to read it with you. I'll do it on my time. But the privilege is there. Nice. Oh, this is an empty box. You know, the box is sell. You know, I can put something else in here. Maybe that uh, that blue one that I liked a lot. And that's the tiny torpedo right here. So that's the torpedo. I don't know. I think they all deserve a box. This is crazy. Yeah, it's empty. Just prove it. Right there. Boom. I'll throw something in there. How many do I have left? Oh my god. And I have three more. Holy shit. Oh, these are flies for bats. 
Uh, if I ever get into fly fishing for bat for anything, these are pretty cool. What brand are these? I don't know. And they have the seedless on them, the weedless on them too, right here. Oh, they're fluffy. There must be top water. I I definitely feel as though I can catch it. Ah, uh, did I just do that? A top water um bait for smallmouth right here. Look at the black one. You know, pretty cool. Pretty cool to have. Very very cool to have. I messed that up. All right, that one's down. I just I just did that. Too excited. Too excited. What's this now? He had a couple others, but I think I got all the good ones. Uh, where are you? Here we go. I gotta be careful here. I like the color, pink tip. I mean, it reminds me of a salmon. Wow, look at this sucker. Who's this made by? Let's see when it stops shaking. So it does have writing on it. The bomber, wow, that is so cool. Look at that, look at the color, wow. This is a metal fin right here, I'm holding a metal. And the rest, I can't tell the rest. It's nice, I'm putting that right back in. That's cool, that's definitely a cool musky bait. I wonder how deep it dives. Well, it's collectible. Let's try this one. Yes, there's something in here. Hopefully it's the best. It's gonna be hard to top my favorite one. Wow, this is cool, dude. This is a small bass. This is the nicest little bass I've ever seen. I fell in love with this hook, I forgot. Is it missing anything? No, it has everything. It has the two uh, treble hooks in the back. How much was he asking for this? It's a Bagley too. Oh my God. Oh, it's a $20 order. If he's calling it 20, then it's probably worth like 60. Oh my god, and it looks injured down there. Someone put a little love. Never used brand new. Oh my god, hand painted. I'm getting off of that paint. I gotta stop. This is the last time I molest these lures. Without gloves. Wow, look how beautiful this little love bass is. That's so cool. Wow. Dude, this is the nicest little bagley I've ever seen. I'm glad it was written there because I wouldn't have known it was a Bagley. Leaving that there and I will get that right back into that box neatly. Let's, all right, this is what I really came for. Oh shoot, there's something on this. Oh, cool. I just found this. It's a cool lure for sunnies. If you ever see a spool of sunnies and you just want to catch them, let's see if we can get a name on this thing. I don't see anything. Pretty cool little lure there. Is there anything else in this bag besides my spinner? What I came for now, my spinner. That this is what drew me to the store. Ah, I got lucky, didn't I? All right, 28 minutes of awesomeness. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying it in real in real life. All right, so this opens. I, I love this case. The case is that's a. That's a ten dollar bill by itself. Here it is. I think he threw that in there. What this fish is the only broken lure in the whole entire lot, and it's still functional. It's a meps, and it's a meps. So I could always change that fish out. I could always put something else. I could throw a worm on there. I don't know, but it's a vintage meps. These right now in Dick's Sporting Goods, this size is a seven dollar is a seven forty nine plus tax. Um, so that's that's uh, so, so I got all these spinners. You got Panther Martins. You got Meps. Um, some of them are used. Some aren't. Some look new. Some some don't. So Meps vintage Meps sets. I have these currently. Uh, wow, even these Meps Meps are expensive. I don't know why he was selling it for forty dollars. This is an easy hundred twenty hundred thirty dollar bill. Hokies, get out of there because I don't want you to. Hey, Hokies, go go. It's hard to record with the phone. I got one in my, you know, one going, one recording. So, look at this. Oh, cool. So, yeah, I have these. This is a $6 hook right there, alone. Wow. 
Fox. Don't tell me that's Blue Fox. I have vintage Blue Fox. That's awesome, dude. I lost like 20 of these last year in the river. I love it. Wow. Wow, Maiden Friends. These are good spinners right here. This is the Vibrax. So it's a, wow, four ounce Vibrax. That's good. Hokies, go, 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 go. Wow, so these are all like five bucks a piece. Wow, I have this lure. Oh my God, I have this in my tackle box. That's cool. His might be work. Mine didn't work. So, wow. Oh, this is so sweet, dude. This is the nicest spinner set I've ever had. Look at this vintage son of a gun. No, I'm not going to be able to get it. But, uh, just take a look. I have rooster tails. Oh, I have original rooster tails. That's awesome. Mep set. Um... Uh, What's this over here? Rooster tail. So I have actual rooster tails. Oh my God. I scored. Look at this. Oh my God. There's Panther Martins in here too, he told me. I'm going to say this is a Panther Martin right here. Right or wrong? It says Japan on it. I don't care. It's cool. That's trout. All these are trout lures and bass. Where are the Panther Martins? Once I see Panther Martin, I got the wheel. Um, hmm, I'll take Meps now. Meps is my go-to. Here we go. Here it is, Panther Martin. Found it. Ah, I got a hook in my hand. This is a cool fly. Wow. Oh, these are Joe's flies, too. I buy these at the Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, these are the Joe's. I got the entire wheel right here. That might be homemade, or they swapped out the treble hook. Those are the replacement hooks. Oh, wow, dude. Oh, it's all on that backing. I'm, I don't want to bend the hook. I have to take all these out and put them in cases. Plus that trouter set. Folks, let me know what you think if I came back on to if I made my money back. I think I'm in the thousands here. I think I'm in at least a thousand dollars worth of uh, fishing lures. So I'm going to organize all this. I want new cases. I want. I don't want to open those. I don't want to open those. Keep things vintage. And those are collectible. I have my whole entire future to decide what I'm going to do with them. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow. And I will see you next time. And until next time, later.